Cause I give you all of me. Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. Last night I took Cleo over to the tiny house. I should have took the camera with me, but I didn't. I forgot. She was freaking out, man. She was like, well, well. We took her upstairs to the loft. And she was crying so loud. Her hair, her tail, and her hair was all frizzed out. She was like freaking out, man. Just trying to carry her from this house over to the tiny house. She's scratched the heck out of my chest with her back claws. Because she has back claws, not front claws. And she did not like being over in the tiny house at all, even though all the furniture and the bed covers and everything smells good. But it smells like home. She still was freaking out. She didn't like it. Right, Cleo? She don't like but uh, we moved to bed over there. My wife and daughter slept in the tiny house last night. <laughs> My wife didn't like uh, sleeping over there. She has to get used to it. She has to flip her head around the other way because she slept with her head towards the um, water heater. My daughter said she slept good. She actually went over there in the afternoon and stayed over there until freaking 9 o'clock at night and we went and checked on her. She went and fell asleep already. I got bored so I didn't sleep. Went up in the, the loft and fell asleep in the bed. I actually slept very, very good because uh, we rearranged the house, moved everything. Hey, look. Got the headboard here that I'm trying to sit on Craigslist. My son... He's sleeping really good because he's still asleep. Yeah, he's got his studio set up here. And the bear is sleeping good. Hey, hey, hey. No, you're not allowed in here. You're chewing his wires. And then uh, I slept in here, my old master bedroom. And I slept very, very good. Look, I even made the bed. Look that. So my daughter cooked me breakfast this morning. This is how my daughter wants to set up her computer desk. And she wants this all open because she wants to keep that. Because this TV, this is what she uh, does her Wii U exercising on. Right here, she's got all of her Wii U exercise dancing stuff here. She's got all of them. So she wanted this. That's why she wanted a bigger room. she got this whole area right here. It's actually cold in this room. Uh, getting used to walking on this floor. It's uh, kind of weird because we're so used to having to be careful walking here. Now you can jump up and down and everything. Uh, but that's a, uh, yeah, that's a good bed making skills there. But uh, that's when we went to Legoland. That's my son on the left. That's me as Batman on the right. So we're going to go to town today. As usual, my wife wants to go to Lowe's and start ordering the stuff for the for the deck so I gotta finish my breakfast anybody want to buy a headboard this is my wife's layout for our, our deck where we're trying to work on that uh, for foundation in inventory but she got too many blocks here I'm only gonna put four one two three four here four there four there four there and four in the middle so we're trying to figure out the pricing and stuff we're gonna go to Lowe's too All these here I want to be cinder blocks and these be the, I don't know what they're called, cross blocks or something. Alrighty, it is 90 degrees and they said it's supposed to rain. We're here at uh, Sprouts because I have to get some fluoride free toothpaste. And then we're going to go to Lowe's and then we got to go, my daughter's going to go get a facial done. My wife's like, hey, there's parking over here. There was no parking there when I pulled up. So I'm going to go in here and get my toothpaste. This is the brand of free fluoride, fluoride free toothpaste that I get right here. But I don't remember the flavor I got last time, so I'm just going to pick a different one because I know I never had this one. Getting one pound of raw pumpkin seeds for my diabetes. This stuff is delicious. My wife and daughter just left me. We're here at Lowe's. We're gonna go in and buy the uh, supplies we need for the deck. I'm getting to me some extended bits for my new drill because the short ones keep falling out. And I gotta find my wife. And she's 
nice. Cobalt. 279. This one's nice too. This one's 149. It has the sliding thing here. Has the thing here you push. And it has the lock. That's cool, man. That's cheap. That's what Larry likes Porter cable. Two more. I got two at home already. So now, time to look at that little concrete mixer there. It looks cool. Now I got to get some joist hangers and some two by sixes. Eighteen two by six joist joist hangers. Eighty six cents. Contractor seventy three cents. I think I'm an amateur contractor. I wonder if they'll give me a seventy three cents price on an amateur contractor. All right, so we were gonna come and get these two by six. These aren't even two by sixes. They're like five and a half. This is 1909. This is pressure pre or pre treated lumber. This is non pre treated. This one's pretty straight. This one's they're all warped. That one's 1591. Then we saw these ones over here, which we use for the tiny house for the foundation. These are twelve dollars a piece. Twelve nineteen a piece. Larry says don't use these because they got these holes in the side here. But if I'm just building a frame, I don't care if it's because these are waterproof and pressure treated and everything. If I'm building a frame, I really don't care about these holes because you're not going to get down your hands and knees and say, Oh, you got holes here. He said, Even if you paint it, you can still see the holes, but I, I don't care. So we were going to put two by sixes for the frame and then we we're going to put two by sixes on top. But now my wife's changing the plan. She's like, let's just use this for the framing and let's put something else on top. So, I don't know, we're flying by the seat of our pants. We've never done this before. Hey, I mean, this is why I don't draw up plans because my wife changes stuff so fast. She, we were gonna put two by sixes for the flooring. She changed her mind because she's like, ah, I don't wanna do that. So we came here and looked at this. It's nice and smooth, but it's $50 a piece. That's $200 because you need four pieces. So I said, let's see what else we got here. That's 1958, but that's particle crap. You don't want that for outside. You don't want this stuff for outside either because if it gets wet, it's slippery. You'll bust your butt. Come down here, 33.98. 37.97. It's getting cheaper. And she's like, wow, let's use this one, 25.98. I said, well, we still have to paint it because it's not pressure treated. I said, let's see what else they got here. Come down here. Boom, we find this wood right here. It's pressure treated plywood. Uh, and it says uh, decay and termites lifetime warranty against rot decay and termites pressure treated exterior above ground use so it's going to be above the ground for our deck can be painted stained when dried to be used with approved fasteners so this is a lot cheaper than the one down there that's nice and smooth this is 39.57 we need four so we got four on the here this is going to be for the framing this is also pressure treated for everything that's going to be underneath this. Boom. So that's going to be the flooring. But we're going to cover that with something once we get it done. I don't know what it's going to be covered with. Maybe some outside carpeting or something like that. But uh, since it's already pressure treated and it says here, limited lifetime warranty. What is, that doesn't make, that's an oxymoron. Limited lifetime warranty, what does that mean? Lifetime means lifetime. How can you limit it lifetime? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I had to take back couple of those joist hangers because now we don't need as many for the inside we're gonna have this stuff delivered I gotta get some more smaller screws so I can connect those joist things to here otherwise if I use three inch it's gonna go all the way through because this is only two inch so I need to get like five eight screws or something like that and why my wife's going to get another one because we the one we had had a big old freaking knot that had fallen out there was a big old gap so this is not a how to build a deck. This is how I'm building my deck. Uh, get, you know, using these above ground things. So if I screw up, it's no big deal because I've never built a deck before in my life. Oh, I need some screws for um, the, the, for the joint hangers. Hmm, I need something that's going to last to the weather, though. I guess I'll get these. These says exterior wood, so I guess that'll hold up to the weather. 
this size here for the joint joist fasteners. I don't know. I'm winging this. I'm doing this as I go. Taking out outdoor furniture now for the deck and some outdoor carpeting. I told her to get the AstroTurf because this stuff is ugly, man. Here's the outdoor. Look at this. They come in 12 foot width also. You got that one, that one, that one, and that one. 41 cents, 69 cents, 68, 56 cents. Perfect. Cut a square 12 by 12 and put it on top. We don't have to paint because it's already pressure treated. We don't have to cut it either. Yeah. My wife's dealing with the outdoor carpet. I'm gonna go take these screws to my cart, make sure they haven't done anything. They said we could leave it over here, but they told me that in Home Depot also, and then they took all my stuff. I had to go all shopping all again for it. I don't need a gym membership. All I need is go shopping with my wife. I walked around this store like 15 times already. We're getting this one right here. They just rolled it for us, right, right here. Big old long roll. Got these for the trim for the outside edges of the deck to hold down this. Got four of them, they're 12 feet long. Now we're gonna check out because we got an appointment at 1.30. My daughter has to get a facial done and then she wants to go to Chipotle also. So I'll show you what the price is after we pay for all this stuff. 621, whatever that is, says there. I don't have my reading glasses, I can't see, but there you go. That's how much it costs for all that uh, inventory for, uh, that's including uh, delivery, $79 delivery. So now we're gonna go eat Chipotle, and then we gotta take my daughter, get her facial done. She's what, 16 years old and having a facial done already? Can you say high maintenance? Yeah. Shredded beef, brown rice, black beans, uh, medium salsa and avocado lemonade. Delicious! Jay Braun Salon Spa. That's where my daughter's going to get facial. Look at this weather though. It feels nice out. It's 89 degrees. This is uh this is the area where they have that, that rock that I go by all the time that looks like a T-Rex. It's over in that area over there. It's actually that rock, but it don't look like a T-Rex from this direction. We almost bought a house over there. I'm glad I didn't. Because uh get too much rain in this area. Hear that thunder? Hey, we dropped my daughter off to get her facial done. We gotta go to Walmart. We're gonna get some ice cream and share ice cream with my wife. At the Screamery. The Screamery! Goodness. I want to try something. Have a di butter. diabetic attack in here. Mm -hmm. Did you try that before? Banana butter. No. I'm sharing this uh, sweet cream honeycomb ice cream from the Screamery ice cream shop. Because uh, we're going to go walk around Walmart. I can burn this up easy, peasy, no problem. Tastes kind of like butterscotch a little bit. The other one is honey, honey bees. Oh, yeah. Knees, bees. This is delicious though. Here at Walmart, check out them clouds, man. Look at that weather. It's sprinkling. And then over there, sunshine. Guess what that is? That's a fridge for the tiny house. Walmart, $128. And that's how you put a refrigerator in a van. Stack up your chair over here. All right, we gotta go pick up my daughter. And then we gotta uh, head home. It's thundering like crazy. All right, back at the salon. It's like deja vu. But check out the mountains, man. That's the Santa Catalina Mountains there. You can't even see them. Or you cannot, correct English, just cannot cannot see them. Well, we can see the right side, but check out these plants here. So beautiful. And then Mr. P, he's pollinating you. He works even on rainy days. It's 
check out that rain though. It's going all the way around us. It's not raining at my house. I called my son. He said, nope. And believe it or not, we got to go in the grocery store do some more shopping. Just, I told my wife, just one week. One week I don't want to go to town and have to spend any kind of money. Can we do that for one week? This is why I can never own a sports car. My wife, she's going to, oh, good thing I looked in there, there's eggs. She's going, Where, where's the eggs? Uh, what eggs? In the back under the freaking screws. She's over there getting a... Uh, Chinese food for dinner tonight and thank God we're going home because I'm tired of walking around and shopping so I'm gonna get Chinese food from our favorite Chinese restaurant over here called fortune cookies restaurant if you're ever in Tucson come over here to uh, Twin Peaks Road in Silver Bell in the shopping center Safeway shopping center they have the best Chinese food ever I'm gonna end this video here because I'm tired and I I'm going to take a nap before she comes back with the Chinese food. So remember to like, leave me a comment. I read all comments. I enjoy interacting with people who watch my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. It's free. And like always, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Put the eggs right here. I think they'll be safe right there. Get down!